Welcome to The Ambassador, a prophetic teaching ministry designed to help win the nations and equip the saints. And now, join Craig DeMoe with his special guest. Well, God bless you and thank you for joining me for the Monday broadcast. And it's my privilege once again to have with me Dr. Chukwuninye Anwoha. And uh, he is originally from Nigeria. He now pastors a church, a powerful church in Queens, New York. And he's been a friend of mine for many, many years. Dr. Chukes, thanks so much for being with us. Praise the Lord. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure to come your way again this Monday. Glory to God. And uh, Craig DeMoe, I want to give you credit for pronouncing my name very well. Not many people <laughs> can pronounce my name. You are a wonderful man of God. I know that everyone today listening will be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I know that to be true. I absolutely do. Most people know our guest as Dr. Chooks. So praise God. Everybody can pronounce that. Praise the Lord. Listen, we're talking from your new book entitled Five Secrets of Overcoming Fear. And the first secret you share in your book is... Presence. Presence. Praise God. Amen. We thank God for that. You see, the presence of God is something that will keep fear at bay. Fear is always there because in the world we have things that bring fear to our hearts if we allow them to. But you have a powerful way of sharing about this. And you write about that when one can no longer stand in the presence of God, fear sets in. Absolutely. And that we have to be where the Lord is. The presence of God is the antidote for fear. Absolutely. His presence overcomes every fear. It's like a vaccine. We have the presence Mm. of God and it keeps that disease away. And I just want you to take the time today and talk Talk about the presence of God as the antidote for fear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Let me start by way of introducing this. Uh, It is the will of God for us to overcome our fears. And we ask ourselves, what is fear? It is an awareness of danger. It is a solitude, anxious concern, reason for alarm, strong emotions caused by anticipation of danger. Fear is opposite of faith. There are so many things in this world that can alarm you or frighten you. There are so many things that can cause you to be afraid in your job, in your homes, in the church, even on the streets, among others. In fact, we live in a dangerous world. A lot of people cannot afford to feed their children and they feel extreme panic. And listen to me, these things are challenges that uh, will cause people to be afraid, like medical bills and so on. Praise God. But it is important for you to know that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given unto us the spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind, according to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. Glory to God. One of the keys of overcoming fear is being in God's presence. Amen. The presence of God is antidote, like uh, Craig DeMoss said, is antidote to fear. Hallelujah. It is the vaccine that we need to overcome our fear. Fear was first introduced in Genesis chapter 3, verse 10. When Adam had the voice of God, he ran away. He was already hiding himself from the presence of God. He said, I had your voice and I hid myself because I was afraid. So fear gripped him, overwhelmed him, took over his body, over his life because he couldn't stand the things that God created. Hallelujah. Because he has left the presence of God. He lost control. He lost his power. He lost everything. Glory to God. So the presence of God, my brothers, my sisters, listening under the sound of my voice today, The presence of God is the victory that we have. If you stay in Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus is the victory. Jesus has given us victory. Praise God. His presence, hallelujah, gives us victory. So if you have Jesus in your life, you have attracted the presence of God, the glory of God in your life. The Bible records that uh, Jesus, hallelujah, is the manager of God's creation. He's the manager. That is, according to the Bible, the Bible says nothing was made without him. So all things were made by him. So he gave him a name that is above every other name. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee right. bows. Praise God. So the presence of God is uh, an antidote for fear. His presence overcomes every fear. You need to understand that fear is an evil presence, a spirit that creates anxiety, pain, and sense of danger. But the presence of God, 
Hallelujah. In the presence of God, every other presence that causes fear, anxiety is swallowed up. Amen. Glory to God. Whatever evil presence that is tormenting your life, I break the influence of that right now in Jesus' name. God, hallelujah, is omniscient. He is everywhere. The scripture says that he is our present help in time of need. So when fear attacks you or tries to overwhelm you, call upon God. When you call upon God, you are invoking the presence of God. Yes. He will save you. And this is the assurance, hallelujah, that you have upper hands against the enemy. It is important for you to know that whatsoever fear that you are experiencing now, hallelujah, is a call to face, hallelujah, to face God, to face God and to dwell in his presence. Amen. It's a call. It's a call asking you to come to God's presence because man is a spirit. And I, I want to say this, that the natural habitat of the spirit of God in man is in the presence of God. Yes. Amen. It has the natural habitat. So man is made up of spirit, soul, and body. And man is a spirit as God is a spirit. So when man dwells in the presence of God, that's the right place for you to be and fear will disappear so when you carry god's presence the miraculous hallelujah wonders recorded in psalm 114 becomes uh, the basis of our testimony praise god glory to god the presence of God is what will avert the enemy. It's what will overcome the enemy. Yes. You can see that the presence of God is what causes in our life, hallelujah, to manifest in us. It is not the food that we eat. It's not anything that uh, we can think of that is earthly. Praise God. It is the presence of God that is the life that we are living. Glory to God. Man in God's presence is all that man's need to do. Glory to God. That's why Moses, when God asked him to go to the promised land, he said, if your presence does not go with us, we are not going anywhere. So the presence of God is important. Jesus made a hallelujah reference to that in Luke chapter 10, verse 40 to 42. He said to Mary, hallelujah, when Mary was in his presence, he said, yes. you have chosen the right path. The matter that was running around looking for food, he said, matter, you are keeping yourself busy with things that does not, you know, make sense. So I want you to know that the presence of God is what makes the most sense in your life. Try to do everything to be in God's presence. Jesus told Bata that she is troubled about many things. She is afraid of many things. In other words, I perceive she wanted to impress Jesus and to receive the approval of his disciples. Yes. But hallelujah, but she was afraid of being a victim of failure right. at the same time. The inferiority complex set in, a low self-esteem set in. She just wanted to conform or measure up to societal standards. She wanted to impress Jesus by presenting something to him. Jesus told her that her sister Mary has chosen the one thing that is needful, and that is, hallelujah, the presence of God. We are no fear whatsoever can exist. Praise I, God. Praise God. I, I don't care to know what type of fear that has plagued your mind, but I declare upon your life today that nothing will take away, yes. hallelujah, the presence of God from you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you stay in his presence day and night. Praise God. I like what somebody said today. And the person said uh, about a woman who was asked, why are you not troubled about the hurricane? She said, I'm not uh, involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. We don't have to participate Amen. in the things that bring the world fear. We really don't. Glory to God. We are exempt. <laughs> we don't have to participate in that. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says in Psalm 28, verse 1b, it declares that the righteous is as bold as a lion. Glory to God. The righteous is as bold as a lion. I said, God, hallelujah, gave birth to us. And because we are made in the image of God, in the likeness of God, we don't have to allow the spirit of fear to live in us. So fear is a spirit and you cannot overcome fear if you have not met with God, if you have not had intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Yes. It is important for you to know that we live in a dangerous world where the Bible says that days are evil in Ephesians 5.16. So we need the presence of God to overcome the evil days that we live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the presence of God grants us continuous 
victory in Jesus' mighty name. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That is such Amen. a good word. And you know, Praise if you God. have Jesus in your life, the presence of God is just a breath away. All you have to do Hallelujah. is call upon him at any time. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Let's not worry about how much we're doing for God like Martha. Let's be concerned with receiving from him like Mary. Praise God. That's what impresses Jesus. Amen. Dr. Chooks, thanks so much for being with us. And folks, you won't want to miss tomorrow's broadcast. We're going to continue on. This is powerful stuff. God bless you. Amen. Before we sign off, I want you to know that fear is a weapon of the enemy and the presence of God is your shield. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Jesus said that before his return, there would be great distress. With men's hearts failing for fear is they see the things coming on the earth. But we've not been given the spirit of fear. And over and over, Scripture says, fear not. Dr. Chukwuninye Anwoha was born in Nigeria, Africa during a civil war in which millions died. Dr. Chukes, as he's commonly called, knows what it means to face fear and win. And he's written a book to help you do the same. Five Secrets of Overcoming Fear will show you step by step how to build your faith in God and starve your fears so that you can live the overcoming life that God has for you. Five Steps of Overcoming Fear is available in both the Kindle version and hard copy. For Kindle, we're requesting an offering of $10 or more, $15 or more for hard copy. We'll need your contact information to fulfill your request. God bless you. Now join us for the international prayer meetings taking place all this month, every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. You'll be blessed by this. We're exercising authority. Join us at zoom.us and the meeting code is 503-692-2900. That's 503-692-2900 and the password is prayer. Now, don't forget also that we're still finishing Ambassador Champion's Home in Thailand, an orphanage for 50 children, and we only need about 5,000 more to complete the entire project. I want to ask you to do what you can. Give a gift, large or small. We want Jesus glorified throughout the world. We will be bringing this broadcast to a conclusion in the month of June. Thank you so much. And I do want to ask you to keep in touch. You can get on our regular mailing list, also our email list. And you can go to facebook.com forward slash ambassador ministries and you'll find me right there. I'm also on Twitter. Also, I have a YouTube channel. We can keep you up to date on what the Lord is doing and what the Lord is saying through this ministry. Well, God bless you, and as I leave you today, let me remind you once again that you are God's ambassador. You're His representative on the earth. Bye for now. You've been listening to The Ambassador with Craig Demo. Your testimonies and prayer requests are very important to Craig. Please write Ambassador Ministries, P.O. Box 19561, Portland, Oregon, 97280. This ministry is sustained by the faithfulness of God through our partners and friends. To find out more about partnering with the Lord through this exciting ministry, contact Ambassador Ministries, P.O. Box 19561, Portland, Oregon, 97280. Our web address is ambassadorministries.us. That's ambassadorministries.us. May God richly bless you.